Hi, my name is Wen Itan. I'm the MD and CEO of Globe Engineering San Rambahat, Globe Success Learning San Rambahat, Globe Express Services San Rambahat, and Globe M&E Services San Rambahat. You are now tuning in to Soul Rich Woman Show. A strong and independent woman is something to behold. She pays her own bills, buys her own things, and she doesn't let a man affect her stability or self-confidence. She is a soul-rich woman. Are you ready to be rich doing what you love? Be on purpose and in control of your life again. At For Women Who Love the F Word podcast, we will be openly talking about getting more clients online, getting recognition as the leader and female entrepreneur, and also the F Word, being fabulous, having freedom and financial independence. It's time to own and love the F Word. Welcome to the show. Hello and welcome to today's episode. I have someone really, really powerful and amazing sitting right next to me. Well, she is the MD CEO of Globe Engineering, holds a Bachelor of Business Administration, which is majoring in accounting, from Lakehead University, Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. She has 30 years of experience leading the organization. She received the Dame of Honor from the Order of the Orthodox Knights of St. John Russian Grand Priory USA in the year in 2012. Her name is has traveled far and wide and everybody loves her. She is Dame Wendy Tan. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you for inviting me here today. <laughs> Thanks for making your trip here. Well, um, I hope I can be able to share what I have experienced in the last 30 years to empower more women. Because uh, being a woman in business is not easy, I would say, especially for me in the men industry. And uh, it took me a while to gain the trust of the men. And now there's no hesitation when they have a project to award to me. So earlier on, we were talking about, you know, you, you said that you fear. actually uh, fear and then you actually um, invest in yourself. Your coaches actually help you to overcome. But many of the women still sit on the fence. What will you do to push them over? <laughs> they themselves would have to want to make that change, if you ask me. Nobody can help you except you yourself. And we are capable of making it happen. It's just to make the decision, I want to walk over this fence, and that can happen. You know, when, you know, for those of you listening in, when I sit beside Wendy, I, I can feel her power, her strength, the inner strength that a woman has. Like, she thinks, she wants, and then she go gets it. So if you're a person who really, you're sitting on a fence, you're thinking about your dreams, the things that you want to do in life, it's time to get your ass off the fence and really go out there and just do it. Like what Wendy just said, right? Go there and just get it because how much is your desire? What do you really want? If you want, then go and do it. So Wendy, what is your favourite book or quote? Uh, I don't have a favourite quote, but uh, See You at the Top was some book that I read ages ago and it was always imprinted in me that I want to be at the top. And because of that, we are one of the top three company doing fire protection now in Malaysia. That's very amazing, you know. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Yeah, and okay, for you, um, when you, you know when you're in a relationship now that you are so loving and everything, how do you balance this relationship? Like you know, we talk about power struggles a lot in relationships. How do you manage that or work through that? Uh, I don't really have a power struggle in my relationship because our age now. I think uh, uh, my husband and I we really talk things out. And uh, we always have dinner together every night. Uh, he makes sure that I'm home, then we only have dinner. And that's uh, when we really, I will share with him about my work day. 
and he will sit there and listen to me and he will give his real point. But we ourselves really have the answer within us. It's having someone to listen to us. And that's it. I used to, before I had my husband, I used to journal a lot. I would write down, and I can't sleep, I'll write down how am I feeling. And after that, I'll just go to bed. And then the answer will come. Now that I'm with my husband, I journal less now because I have someone to talk with. And I'm so thankful to have him in my life at my late age. And for, for you, who do you think is suitable to go for Money and You? Oh, Money and You is a program for any, anybody and for anyone for that matter. My nephew was 12 years old when he came for Money and You. And he was with a group of uh, ladies uh, who had children of his age. And they came to thank me after the blocks game that I sent him because they told me, after this now, they can understand their son better. So my nephew was a blessing to this poor woman who was in the block scheme. So anybody, you who is listening to the show right now, you know, Wendy is speaking to you, you can join Money and You, okay? So um, I've got one more question. I want to know, uh, what is your, to you, what is Soul Rich Woman? So rich woman is someone who is uh, very complete for me. But before I answer that, I'd like to share the part about my husband first. Before I started really dating him, I sent him for money and you. You sent him? Yeah. That was before we started getting serious dating. I told him I'd like to send you to a program called Money and You. And because he's Chinese, I sent him to Chinese Money and You. And we... Happened to have an English money and you running then. So that he understand all the hugging and the crying whatsoever. What is the wife doing? So it was after money and you, then I started dating with him seriously. So it's a pre-qualifier. <laughs> yeah, in a way, yes. And I also encourage all my engineering staff to attend money and you so that they understand who their boss really is. And at this point in time, there's five of them in the classroom attending Money and You too. Wow. So it's really like, you know, you let the culture really flow down the system so that everyone is aligned. Yes. And alignment is key to success. And yes. that's why Globe Engineering can be so many years, 30 yeah. years. Wow. Okay. I think that's so important. When you're running an aligned organization, it's easy. I remember before Money and You, I'll be always screaming and shouting at my staff. You know, right now, it's like we communicate, we talk things out, they come and see me when they face a problem. Rather than in the past, they'll be so fearful of coming in to see the boss, or don't even want to see the boss. So in a way, right now, we have very open communication in the organization, and they don't feel that it's a threat when I'm in the chat group with them in all the projects. So that's why it makes uh, the difference in our organization. For those of you who don't know why, why, why that's happening, a lot of times uh, Asian culture, we tend to be, we are kind of like hard workers. We like to, you know, check our team, find out what they are doing. And then people may feel like, hey, you know, this is my own boundary, right? But when we put our staff and uh, team in alignment, uh, when we come together as a chat group or in any other groups per se, it functions better. It's not because we're checking on them. Yeah. It's more of, you know, we want to be more efficient in leveraging each other's strength to achieve our goals what do you think so Wendy coming back to the soul rich woman question okay so to you who is a soul rich woman uh, someone who is um, in their heart and uh, it's not easy to be in your heart it took me many years because when I first attended money in you I was so hard on myself I don't even know that feeling is one of my senses. That was then in 1998. So it's a joke that uh, you no longer feel. You just work all from your head. And now that you work from your heart, work is easy. Wow. 
of all the F words, uh, being fabulous, having freedom and financial independence, which one is your favourite F word? I would say financial freedom because like I say, I came from a very poor family. So to be financially free now is very important to me. And I get to travel when I want to travel with my kid and my husband. And we make a point to travel as a family overseas three to four times a year. In the past, uh, we could just travel any time. But right now, my son is in school. We have to make sure the holiday is scheduled around his school holidays. So that's the difference now. So I'm really very inspired by what you've shared with me. You know, you've built such a big business. You have a big team. And then, you know, you've grown using not just... You know, also technology, and you, you encourage people to not work too many hours also because they deserve to have family time as well. Yes. So that's a culture that I feel that, you know, when you're heart-centered uh, and you're aligned, that's when it just flows and just overflows within your entire corporate structure as well. And it also flows within, and I can see it in you as well. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you very much, Wendy, for being here today. Um, is there any other last advice uh, you want to give to our audience before you go? Uh, I would think that self-love is one of them, loving yourself. It took me a long time to love myself because we're always looking love outside, especially women. When we don't have love from the family, we're always seeking external love. So for me, loving yourself is so important. And uh, money and you is a place where you can find to love yourself. And then also as a woman to be self-reliant because no matter how, I feel that women need to work. You can work shorter hours rather than always stretching your hand out asking your husband for money you know no doubt that as a housewife you do a lot more but uh, when you're always asking for money they think you're a nuisance so I just feel that women should work you don't have to be high up in the corporate world but at least work this is actually why we talk about financial independence Wendy because when you have financial independence it's having your own voice yeah you can make a decision to what you want to do with the money. Correct. Yeah. It's not to say make a million dollars. Of exactly. course, if you can, that's that's very good. But for like what you said, just whatever you want to do, you know, bring your kid, go extra dinner, you know, buy extra shoes. Don't have to ask permission from another person. That's very important. Personally, I feel that because the man will respect the woman differently if you work. Uh, rather than being a housewife, waiting for them to come home. Because when you work and they work, I think the communication can be closer, you know. And for me and my husband, we, we, we don't sleep in the same room. We actually have our own room. And our kids get to choose who he wants to speak, sleep with every night. So that's again very different from our culture. And because uh, we want to have our own space, so that's also good. Ah, so that's your secret recipe. You manage to understand each other's need for own personal space. So there's yes. no fusion. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is really good, but real thing that's happening right now. You know? I mean, I learned this uh, in, in, I mean, through practical concepts, but this is like a real person living in it. Wow, this is super cool. <laughs> it is. I, I think it's excellent having your own space, your own room. And therefore then... You, when you're together, you're really together. And sometimes, I mean, there are certain nights that you can't sleep and he's, he's tired, you know, and you have to wake up. So it's not very healthy. So we decided uh, to have our separate room and that has worked very well for us in our last 11 years of marriage. Wow, cool. I, I love that. So where can our audience reach you? Uh, you can call on me. You can have my mobile number. It's 012-3357-339 or you can email me at any time, wendytkt at gmail.com or you can Google Globe Engineering Sandra Bahad. You will see 
uh, my face and the right out of my organization. Yes, if, as long as you need um, to you know find out more what Wendy is doing and you know how she is also empowering women and people around the world with money and you, uh, this is a place where you really would like to connect with her. This is Janisha Alora. Thank you very much for being here today. I know that you could be doing something else right now. I just want to acknowledge you. We hope that um, we have done everything in our power to make it well worth your time. Take care and we speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so honoured that we are connected and I hope that I can continue to serve you as you build your dreams. And if you love this episode, and I hope that you did, rate it 5 stars. Give us that glowing review because it will help more women around the world finding this Soul Rich Woman podcast. Alone you are strong, together we are unstoppable. Now share this with every woman who needs it because this is how we are changing the world, one woman at a time. As always, get out of your comfort zone and go towards the dreams you've always wanted to achieve. For women who love the F word, being fabulous, having freedom and financial independence. My dear soul rich woman, sending you my love and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.